It was a toasty start to your work week. Temperatures across the mountains were well above average. We should be in the middle 80s, but earlier today we were in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Check out these high temperatures. Most of us in the lower 90s today, 90 in Somerset, also London, 89, the high temperature in Jackson and 88 over in Pikeville earlier today. As we go into tonight, we do stay dry under a mainly clear sky, but also mild and muggy. Those overnight lows falling into the upper 60s and lower 70s as you wake up on Tuesday. And speaking of your Tuesday, more warm weather on the way as we kick off your Tuesday. Middle to upper 70s by lunchtime. Also some 90s out there by the afternoon. So a warm day is on tap. But the good news, if you're a fan of the sunshine, more sunshine is on the way for your Tuesday. That high pressure does continue. So that means we do stay dry under plenty of sunshine on Tuesday. Also Wednesday, but notice by the weekend watching out for maybe a few changes out there. And as we approach the peak of hurricane season, the tropics are starting to wake up as well. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Olivia. Thank you, Cameron. Police are looking for two suspects in what they are calling an attempted use of a stolen debit card. It happened Sunday at a business on Highway 80 east of London. You can see the suspected getaway car and a picture of the woman who tried to use the card. The woman has blonde hair and tattoos. Police believe a man was outside waiting for her in a dark SUV. If you know who either of them are, you were asked to call the Laurel County Sheriff's Office at 606-864-6600 or message their Facebook page. The Knox County Sheriff's Office is investigating a fence that was stolen from a cemetery. On Saturday, deputies responded to a theft complaint at the Campbell Cemetery in Woodbine. 150 feet of fence, including seven posts, two 10 feet gates, and all of the hardware were stolen. If you have any information, call the Knox County Sheriff's Office at 606-546-3181 or Knox County Dispatch at 606-546-3510. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is warning drivers of nighttime construction along Kentucky 15 in Knott County. Construction on the bridge is located at mile marker 5.6 over Carfork Lake. Work will begin starting at 2 a.m. until 7 p.m. During this time, traffic will be controlled by flaggers. KYTC officials say to plan for congestion in the area and drive slow when in the work zone. Just more than a year since the July 2022 flood, West Whitesburg Elementary has reopened. WMT's Chandler Wilcox tells us how school administrators work to update the building before students returned. It has been more than a year since students walked through the halls of West Whitesburg Elementary. We had a lot of anticipation and a lot of excitement uh, over the last few weeks in the, in the summer. The building underwent a complete remodel after flood water swept through. Timing wasn't perfect, but the opportunity to update the building and to do that um, and, and come back better and stronger, um, it's also a really good feeling to celebrate. One of the biggest updates for the school is that they are going from open to closed suites. Five locked doors separate the kids from outside. We've talked for years about the fact that we needed to build walls and go into this building for safer purposes. Um, it's much safer to have students behind closed locked classroom doors instead of the open concept. Students attended the high school last year. Administrators say the changes have shown resilience from kids and staff. Going to Letcher Central last year was a really good experience for us and it kind of prepared them for what we're coming into now because our building is totally different in the layout. Administrators are looking to continue improving the school. The work's not done. We still have work to do. Um, but having them in their buildings gives us more hope. West Whitesburg is the final school in Letcher County to finish remodeling after the flood. In Whitesburg, Chandler Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Administrators say preschool will start at West Whitesburg Elementary next week. Barberville Independent School wants to make sure that parents feel comfortable when dropping their kids off for school. Both the school superintendent and principal say that making sure that children get home safely each day is the top priority. They want both parents and students to know they are safe at Barberville Independent School. School officials say that safety comes first and they are always updating the precautions they take, including access control on building doors. Lee County Schools announced that schools will be closed for the rest of the week due to student and staff illness. Schools will be closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday and Friday will be NTI days. 
New tonight, an Eastern Kentucky high school cheerleading team is temporarily on pause. The Herald Leader reports all Rowan County high school cheer activities are on pause pending an investigation. Superintendent Michael Rowe did not release any details about the investigation, but he told the paper the investigation would last one week. This investigation comes as the Rowan County School Board is facing a lawsuit. The suit claims the district, including the high school principal and superintendent, ignored sexual abuse claims regarding former teachers. Teacher Andrew Zahari. Zahari is facing 23 felony counts for his alleged sexual relationship with a student. Staying in Rowan County, Governor Andy Bashir announced millions of dollars in funding for the area today. He made the announcement in Moorhead. Rowan and Morgan counties are receiving more than three and a half million dollars. The funds will support airport, tourism, cybersecurity, a senior center, and more. The new senior center will be the first in Rowan County. The funds will also help with economic developments, recycling, and clean water. A new Pike County business is offering something cool to the downtown Pikeville area. WMT's Buddy Forbes has more about the cones and collars that make the business unique. It all started when Stephanie Roop wanted to rep the Bears. I was looking for some U Pike gear and there was really nowhere to go unless you went off of campus. And grew when she noticed a market for more. I love ice cream and towns, you know, just love ice cream and there really wasn't a place to walk to from campus to get ice cream. So I thought about the ice cream kind of later on after I had the license, to, you know, the, to sell the U Pike gear. Steph's Uptown Swag recently opened its doors with Roop celebrating her new home while connecting to her hometown. And I partnered with a company from where I'm from in Ohio called Velvet Ice Cream. Creating a sweet space for the Pikeville community to find a treat. They, they can walk over from campus. You know, the kids can walk over, grab ice cream, sit, sit outside, socialize outside. I've noticed a lot of families are just kind of hanging out on the sidewalk and across the street and just kind of hanging out right on the sidewalk with the sidewalk chalk and, you know, just really enjoying the evenings slowly growing in popularity for its scoops and shirts. I went from, you know, 50 followers to over 1100 followers in a couple weeks just from people coming in and following me, taking pictures and I'm trying to do like a customer of the day and it's really it's really turning out really well. Inviting students, supporters or just the sweet tooths to come downtown for Uptown in Pikeville. Buddy Forbes, WIMT Mountain News. The store is open every day of the week. You can find the store hours and where to follow the business over on our website. Coming up on Mountain News at 11, Kentucky may be the best spot to see the solar eclipse next year. Plus, more heat is on the way for Tuesday and beyond. Your full forecast coming up after this break.